Hi everybody, Lee Arnold here, and I'm really excited about this new format that we have where I'm going to, every Friday, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to address the questions that are affecting your business the most. Now, as many of you know, I sent out an email not too long ago requesting that you submit questions that you had uh, in and around the subject of hard money lending. Now, hard money lending has become a real interesting thing in this economy. As you know, the credit markets are shot. Uh, people are having harder times getting traditional funding. Uh, credit scores are just being annihilated across the country. So there's this real concern. Where do I get money? Do I use hard money? And if I'm going to use it, uh, how do I use it properly? How do I make sure I'm not getting taken advantage of? There's a lot of really good questions in the marketplace. So what I've done, as you can see, I got quite a few questions here. Some of you had some really long questions. You can see how high tech I am. But what I did is I just printed out all your questions and I went through and I highlighted uh, some that I thought would benefit all of you on a great level. Now, for those of you who don't get your questions answered here today, feel free to go ahead and shoot me another email uh, and let's see, see what we can do to get your questions answered as well. Uh, my email, lee at imthesolution.com, lee at imthesolution.com. Uh, shoot me whatever emails you have. But the questions that I'm going to address today, as I said, I've got a few of them. Uh, but I'm going to start with this one from uh, Mr. Wilford. Mr. Wilford says, please explain the difference between hard money and transitional funding. Uh, many of you have probably heard of it as transactional funding. Now, the main core difference, Mr. Wilford, is this. Transactional or transitional funding is typically for a much shorter period of time, uh, often 24 to 72 hours, right in that range. So you're looking anywhere from one to three days. That is transitional or transactional funding. It is not hard money from the standpoint of there's a term longer than three or four hours or four days there. Uh, it's just very expensive, very, very short term money. Now, transactional funding typically only comes with one thing, and that is a point attached to it. Okay, So if you wanted to borrow $100,000 for three days, uh, someone might quote you five points. Well, what that means is to borrow that $100,000 for that five-day or that three-day period of time, it's going to cost you 5%. A point is nothing more than a percent. So if somebody quotes you five points to borrow $100,000 for three days, essentially what that means is you're going to spend $5,000 to borrow that money for that very, very short period of time. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, if you're dealing with hard money, hard money typically works like this. You need to borrow $100,000, but you need it for six months or 12 months. Uh, not a lot of hard money lenders are willing to go out longer than 12 months. Uh, until you start getting up into the commercial sector where you will find hard money anywhere from 18 to 36 months. Um, but it's not very common in the residential housing market, and that's anywhere from one, two, three, or four units on residential property. So if you're looking for that $100,000 that you want to borrow for six months, somebody might quote you five points, which would still be $5,000, but there's going to be a second number attached to the quote. And that second number is the annualized interest rate. Okay, so if somebody says, okay, you need $100,000, all right, it's going to be five points and 15% interest. What that means is if you borrow that $100,000 all year long, you're going to spend $5,000 on points and you're going to spend $15,000 in interest. Okay, it's monthly. Now, please understand, I'm using simple math. I'm not compounding it in any way. This is just straight up numbers. So if you wanted to borrow $100,000 for 12 months at 5 points and 15%, it's going to run you about $20,000. So 20% to borrow $100,000. Now, when is it a good time to do that? Well, it's a great time to do that anytime you've got a great deal. So if that $100,000 means that you can fix the property up and turn around and sell it for, let's say, $150,000, and just to keep the number simple, let's say you net out $50,000. Well, if you have to spend $20,000 to make $50,000, meaning you net out $30,000, i got to say, that is a great, great deal. All right, Mr. Uh, Wilford, great question. Let's go on to our next question, uh, which would be with... LSW 
Uh, didn't get a name here. Let's, let's call this person Lisa. All I have is the email address here. Uh, the question is, how do you locate and obtain hard money without a past business relationship and without putting some skin in the game? Now, this is a great question. And one of the reasons I highlight it is I get this question a lot because many of you are new investors. You're just getting started in the real estate arena and you're wondering, where do I find these people that can really help me have the success that I need when I don't have an existing track record, I don't have an existing business relationship, and I've never borrowed hard money before in the past? Well, the answer to that question is, is much simpler than you can possibly know. You're also going to hear this uh, quite a few more times throughout, the, throughout this presentation. And that is this, money follows deals. Okay, write that down. Money follows deals. Money does not follow people, okay? So you don't need to be worried about you, your credit, your past indiscretions, your current indiscretions, your credit score. Please look closely at me here. None of that matters, okay? None of that matters. The only thing that matters in hard money lending is that you have a good deal, all right? Now, the problem most of you are making is that you're going out into the marketplace and you're talking with potential lenders saying, hey, will you give me $100,000? And the lender's looking at you like, for what? And the lender's dead right, because if you came to me and said, hey, Lee, will you lend me $100,000? I'm going to look you square in the eye and I'm going to say, for what? All right? So many of you are spending too much time focusing on the wrong thing. Here's what you need to be focused on. What is the deal? What is the address of the property? What's the square footage? What's the lot size? How many bedrooms and baths does it have? What are the comparable surrounding sales? Meaning, what is it worth when you get done with it? And what are you buying it for? Meaning, what do you currently have it under contract at? Okay? And that's another reason many of you are failing to get the funding that you need is that you're making these phone calls and you don't even have the property under contract. All right? If you come to me as a hard money lender and you say, hey, Lee, will you lend me $100,000 on this house over here on, Red, on Redwood Road? I'm going to look you back in the eye and I'm going to say, let me see your contract. Do you have it under contract? Do you have the explicit contractual right to purchase that property for the amount of money that you're asking to borrow from me? If the answer to that question is yes, we now have something that we can move forward on. If the answer to that question is no, then the very fact that we're even having this conversation is premature because you don't have the deal under contract. All right. So for many of you who are struggling to get the, fin the financing or the funding that you need, it's not because you won't qualify or that you can't find the money. For the majority of you, it's because you don't even have a deal. All right. So spend more time focusing on the deal and less time worrying about the money. Here's my guarantee for you. If you have a deal at 50 cents or less on the dollar of the fair market value, meaning property's worth $100,000, you have it under contract for $50,000, here's my guarantee. If everything checks out, meaning it really is worth 100 and it's really a good buy at 50, Money is going to be the easiest thing on the planet for you to find, all right? So focus on the right thing. The right thing is you've got to find the money. Get the deal, and the money will be there. I think I said that wrong. Uh, I said you got to focus on the money. you, you got to focus on the deal, okay? Get the deal, and the money will be there. Now, for many of you, you're going, well, Lee, I don't even know where to get the deal. Well... If you're struggling because you don't know where to get the deal, how to get the deal, how to, how to write a contract on a deal, uh, that's, that's the biggest challenge, okay? That tells me you're not even in a position to need understanding or education on hard money lending. You need to go get yourself some coaching, some training. You need to come to one of my workshops. You need to better know how to find the deal because money always follows the deal. And if you got the deal, the money's easy. So let me help you. Let me show you how to get the deal. And then I'll show you how easy it is to get the money. Okay?